Hello everyone, this video will show you how flood modeling is done using HECRAS software. First we have to download HECRAS software from Google and open it. After opening the software, we have to set the unit to SI by clicking on the option menu. Click on the file to create a new project. Name the project and select the location or folder where you want to save the project. Your project will be created and will be displayed on the Heck RAS dialog box. Click on the RAS mapper option to feed our data for the particular area we choose to study. We will have to set projection by clicking on the project. Then we have to input the projection file of our study area. We have to right click on the terrain option and create a new RAS terrain. We add the terrain file of the study area and then it will be displayed. We will have to create a new geometry by clicking on the geometry option. Then we will have to edit our geometry accordingly to our study area. To pick our river geometry more accurately, we add a base map from the project option. We compare our base map with the terrain map to pick our river geometry more accurately. The first river geometry we have to pick is the river center line of the study area. After the river center line, we have to pick river bank line on both side of the river. After the river bank line, we have to pick the flow path on both the sides of the river.
After the flow path, we will have to pick the cross section of the river. While picking the cross section of the river, we have to start the point from left direction towards the right direction. For the accuracy of the map, we have to take as many cross section as possible. After picking the river cross section, we have to save our RAS mapper file. Click on the Edit Geometry Data from the Toolbox to check our geometry data. A new Geometry Data dialog box will be displayed. Then we have to open the RAS mapper file which we have saved earlier. Then our terrain map along with the river geometry will be displayed. Click on the table option to add the Manning's roughness coefficient. A new dialog box will be displayed where you can input Manning's coefficient. Each river cross section will have different values of Manning's coefficient, and we have to find it using the Manning's roughness table. But for now, we'll be taking 0.04 as the roughness coefficient for all the cross section. Close the dialog box after the coefficient value has been assigned. Click on the Edit Steady Flow Data from the Toolbox. A new dialog box will be displayed. We have to input the value according to the required number of maps of different return period. For now, we'll put the value 3 for 3 maps of return period 5, 10, and 25 years. We have to input the discharge data for the different return period, which we calculate using the flood frequency analysis. We have to set boundary conditions by clicking on the Reach Boundary Conditions option. For the boundary condition, we have to click on the View Profile option, where a graph will be displayed. For the upstream boundary conditions, we have to select the top three points from the graph, and it will be computed automatically. Then we input the computed value as the upstream boundary condition. For the downstream boundary condition, we take the bottom three points from the graph, and will be computed automatically. The computed value is then used as the downstream boundary condition. Then we have to name the steady flow data and close the dialog box. To compute the maps for the different return periods, we click on the Run option and compute the steady flow analysis. After computing the steady flow analysis, we click on the RAS Mapper option to view our results.
We click on the results option and select depth to view the inundation map. To view our results as 3D, we have to click on view results in 3D option and the result will be displayed. Thank you for watching the video.